it's Panda. Today I'm going to be doing a Minecraft vs Roblox Bloxburg home speed build. So technically I'm going to be comparing Roblox compared to Minecraft. I'm going to do my best to try and build the same type of home in both games and then we're going to compare them. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's hope that I can actually build in Minecraft because I haven't played it for ages. <laughs> Let's get into the video. As always, I'm going to first start out with building the exterior. Over here, I'm building a little pathway which will lead to the house front. And on the right side, I'm building like a tiny lake that I will decorate later on to look like a lake <laughs> or a pond whatever you want to call it I was then building the roof and I just found out that they had this glass roof and I'm like, oh, hold up, I've never seen this before, I gotta use it. So here I have a little portion of the house which has it and the rest is a flat roof because when I recreated in Minecraft, I didn't feel like making like a slanted roof. <laughs> then I added in some windows around the house and continued with decorating. In Minecraft, flowers and plants look adorable, so I decided to try and make it similar over here. I added tons of flowers, leaves that will then I will color them into looking like flower leaves. I don't know. You kind of see what I did here. Blend in the leaves with the grass so it looks... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I did. <laughs>
I then went on to finishing the exterior of the house and the house shape of it. Then I went on to coloring to the colors and textures that I think Minecraft would have. I technically was thinking about Minecraft this whole time that I was building this because Minecraft has minimal stuff compared to Bloxburg, but it turned out pretty all right. So the upstairs of the house is a little bit crimped, but I did my best to make it a two bedroom. So over here is going to be one small bedroom and it's going to have like a tiny closet which I'm building right now. And then on the opposite side there will be a almost larger bedroom with a double bed that I squashed in there. And then downstairs will be the normal living area and kitchen and all that stuff. dining room at first I didn't like the chandelier but later on I switched back to it as I needed a source of lighting and I didn't think anything else fit well so I was just playing around with lights not liking how everything was going so I kind of just gave up and tried seeing where I could fit a bathroom in the house and then where I could fit in a kitchen.
Since I didn't really have a living room area, I decided to use this little corner to my advantages and add in a small couch with a plant. I know there's no TV in the house, but you know what? That's fine. Minecraft doesn't have a TV either, and Minecraft people live with it, don't they? So I guess Robloxians or Blocks. Bergians. <laughs> that was so- no. <laughs> I guess they can live without a TV for a few days or in their house, right? And here there's not much explaining on what I'm doing. I'm adding a chair and table for an outdoor area. I also added the door to the second bathroom. Bathroom. The door to the second room. There we go. I can English now. And you have to come outside of the patio to go into the bedroom as I didn't want to use any more space that I could use to build inside. It turned out pretty right and I'm living for this book and the mug on top. It's adorable! And I was speaking about earlier, here is the second bedroom.
finishing up adding some last minute details to the house adding in some lighting of course and I couldn't have made it so bright because there is a lot of white color in this house so then I went on to building the outside I know there are two different colored grasses so I had to extend the area kind of looks weird if you zoom out fully but if you're just looking for a close-up it looks fine and now for the finishing details of the house I'm adding in some rocks grass flowers plants to the lake pond whatever you want to call it to finish it off Finally, here we have our finished off Bloxburg house. It turned out pretty all right and I'm happy with it. It was inexpensive, but it did take me like an hour and a half to build. And now it's time for the tour. Now that we have the house built on Roblox Bloxburg, it's time to go in creative mode because I cannot build this in survival mode. <laughs> on Minecraft, here I am and I'm ready to start building and try to replicate what I built on Bloxburg onto Minecraft. So let's see how similar I can get them to be in a creeper's legit looking at me. Creeper? Oh man! <laughs> let's get on to building. All right, so you kind of saw me build the Bloxburg house, so you have an idea of what theme or build I'm trying to go for. Didn't turn out exactly as I liked, as Minecraft has more blocky blocks, if that makes sense. But I did my best. It took trial and error to make it look similar. Let me know down in the comments how well you think I did out of 10. I think I did not the best, but I'll say a 6 or a 7 for effort, but that's just me. Let me know down below. So here I'm starting out with the entrance. I haven't built on Bloxburg. I haven't built on Minecraft. See, I've built on Bloxburg, so I'm so used to it. But I haven't built on Minecraft in so long, so it was a little bit challenging for me at first, but then I got the hang of it.
As Minecraft is a little bit more Bloxy than Bloxburg, Bloxy than Bloxburg, <laughs> uh, it was kind of difficult to have it the same shape, so I had to extend it out a bit. And here's the bathroom. Now, I didn't think about this, but the details in the house are going to be terrible for me to build because they're so blocky. I didn't know what to do, so I just did my best, used cauldrons for the sink and also the toilet, and I did my best trying to make a shower, as you can see right here. <laughs> but I just tried, and it turned out alright, not the best, I'd say. There are pretty much better Minecraft builds, but A for effort, right? <laughs> finished the kitchen and now I'm building the stairs going upstairs to the patio and the bedrooms and the second floor of course so that's pretty much it and also I had to extend it a lot because I realized that I needed a lot more space than I thought
You can kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to build if you saw the Bloxburg build. I'm trying to build the L-shaped couch area, which is kind of like a living room, and it had these tall windows in the back. And now I'm going to put in some stairs for mimicking the L-shaped couch.
And here is my attempt to building the dining room table. I added some stairs and then this door in the back so it gave it a more higher up look. The dining room went out by a lot so there was like this gray blob that I had to add onto the house and that Roblox didn't have so it looks kind of weird but I had to have my dining room so I did my best to mimic it as best as I could. And now I'm moving on to building the second bedroom which has the double bed. It was kind of a weird shape as I added on to the dining room downstairs, but it turned out pretty alright.
as slimes jump around downstairs, I'm adding some last minute detail to the house that I think I needed. And here is the first bedroom with the single bed that I forgot to build. So here I am building it now. <laughs> I'm almost done with building, I'm just fixing the roof and trying to make it look less weird in my opinion. But we are pretty much done, so it's time for the Minecraft house tour. I'm just making sure everything is ready to go.
Well guys, we are finally done with the Roblox vs Minecraft build. They turned out semi-similar, but let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more Minecraft videos and what you think of these two builds. I'll see you next time and peace out! <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be a part of the Pandora Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out! Bye!